Well, the tradition will go on. Um, end of Le Mans. Um, yeah, I started doing these a couple of years back, so I've got to keep going with it. Uh, as you can see, I'm looking a bit worse for wear. It's been about 42, 45 hours since I last slept, so I'm a little bit tired. Um, not had a shave, obviously. I'm looking rough and feeling rough. Toyota justification. Um, I think my first video was me in tears from saying, Toyota, that was such bad luck. Um, last year, they just, it was unfair for them. They, they deserve this. It, it might have been a bit of an easy win in all honesty because, well, it was their race to lose. It wasn't their race to win, really. They, they had this race in the bag. They could only lose it. Um, and they didn't lose it, which was good. I'm really happy that uh, Kazuki Nakajima took the flag uh, in the number eight car. Um, just amazing work. Uh, of course, Alonso gets his maiden rookie win at Le Mans. Um, Sebastian Buemi gets his win at Le Mans. You know, these people have deserved it so much, and Toyota have deserved this win for so long. Uh, they've been robbed of this victory, uh, what's it, 97, just so many times. They're the second Japanese manufacturer to win at Le Mans after Mazda. Um, and they did it in style with Nakajima driving. Another big congratulations to Porsche. Um, happy birthday, Porsche. The pink pig came across the line in GT Pro. And... Dempsey Racing came across in GTM, getting the win for Porsche. Two wins for Porsche uh, at Le Mans uh, for their, I think it's their 80th birthday, 70th, 80th birthday. The heritage livery cars just looked amazing. Um, and the fact that Porsche managed to do it with a 1-2 in GT Pro, with the pink pig getting its win. Um, historically, that car wasn't very successful. The Rothmans car finished behind it, though, which is kind of cool. LMP2, uh, G Drive, uh, congratulations G Drive, Jev, amazing, like such good news for G Drive. Uh, the LMT, uh, the LMP2 battle was quite close at the end. Uh, Lurk de Val almost managed to get the podium. Uh, some amazing laps and some amazing running. Um, although, as I say, Toyota really had this race to lose. Um, the, the number eight car really had to put in some laps, and it's almost like, yeah, they kind of could say they maybe were gifted it, but then if you look at Alonso's stints through the night, where he was just metronomic, he was just doing three minute twenties, three minute twenties every single lap, and just eating away at that gap on the number seven car. Um, yeah, brilliant drive. And congratulations to the number seven team as well. Um, Kobayashi getting the line for it, getting across for that too. This race wasn't really a, all that exciting. Um, it's not a classic for sure. There was some good racing in it. There were some good moments. But the thing that people are going to be talking about is Alonso's win. That they really should be talking about Toyota because Toyota deserved this victory. And I'm so happy for them. They, they've been so important to the sport and had so much issue. Um, but, yep. <laughs> uh, so, just picking up his teammates there where it all fell apart last year. The car broke down last year at this point. And this is where the car failed. It's just so good to see that they've done it. Um, so yeah, so such good news for such good news for Toyota. It's brilliant. Um, as I said, the race wasn't the best this year. Um, there are a few iffy rules and things that need to be sorted out. Um, some of the fuel rules are just ridiculous, um, and they really need to do something for the privateer LMPs because the LMP one is. Toyota ended up winning by 12 laps. That meant if they broke down on that last lap, it would take about an extra hour for the next car to cross the line. So they'd have to technically keep the race going. Um, it would be really weird rules anyway. Um, so yeah, the... the um, 
the fact that they won by such a huge margin. I mean, Rebellion didn't have an error-free race. Uh, the SMP car broke down, and the SMP was probably the only thing that could challenge the Toyota, but they they did deserve it, in all honesty. They really did deserve it, and I think this year was their year, you know. It, it's hard to say. I mean, look, if Porsche stayed in it this year, then it might have been a little bit different, but I think Toyota would have put much more effort in. They're still using last year's car, basically. They've not really done much upgrades. They don't need to. That car is beautiful as it is. Um, it just needed the reliability to be fixed, and it was reliable the whole race. There wasn't an issue with the, the whole race. That car did not skip a beat. Um, the Rebellions did an amazing job, um, Rebellion Racing, because it's a brand new car. Uh, it's a brand new car for them. And they finished. Both cars finished the race, uh, which is great news for them. Uh, hopefully, next year for the final of this year's World Endurance Championship, uh, next year's Le Mans. It's a bit weird because WEC this year started at Spa and it finishes next year at Le Mans. And then it will, Le Mans will be the final race for the World Endurance Championship from then on. Um, so we get two Le Mans in this championship. But basically, Toyota are going to win this championship. But just by how much, we don't know. But hopefully, the LMP1 privateers will start getting up there. And they're going to start seeing... We're going to start seeing them get some wins. We're going to start seeing them do something. And what can I say? I'm so happy for Alonso as well. I'm a, I'm a huge Alonso fan. I, I love Fernando, and I think he's one of the best drivers in the world. And I think he's proven it today. Like With his drive at the Indy 500, all he needs to do now is win that, and he's got the Triple Crown, and he has made it with Graham Hill. He's the second person to do it with Graham Hill, you know. He's got the Triple Crown. He's already done something that very few people have done, win a world, Formula One World Championship, win Monaco, and win the Indy, sorry, win the Le Mans 24 Hours. That's an amazing success. Chances are he's going to win the World Endurance Championship this year as well, which is going to be mega, and he deserves it. It's just a shame he doesn't have a Formula One car that can show his talents, and it's just a shame that his political inclinations don't always work. Anyway, amazing job for Toyota. They, they really did earn it. Through all their misfortune from previous years they karma did did deliver for them and as i said amazing job for porsche as well um porsche really dominated the gt field um the, the gt40s were not a easy car to beat um they, they beat corvette as well um and porsche drove a, the, the the pink pig drove a flawless race um absolutely amazing drive all right well i'm gonna end here um i hope you enjoyed this <laughs> i you know it, it's become a tradition and i'm gonna have to keep doing it i guess every year but um yeah another 24 is over and yeah it wasn't a classic it wasn't the best race but i must admit i am very happy to see that toyota get the win till next time this is me carl out bye bye